How to install Ansible in Fedora 38. The good news is that Ansible is already included in the system repository, so all we need to do is just set up one machine with Fedora 48. In my case, I just use a virtualization technology with using VMware and I'm able to run my Fedora 48 workstation in my current laptop. So let me log in with my user, in my case Luca, and uh, we are going to install the software using the system package manager. We can easily reach out using the terminal on the app on screen. So let me enlarge a little bit the chart so you are able to see my screen. Perfect. Now let's start checking out what version of the operating system we are using. Uh, in cutting the file ATC OS release, we are able to verify that this is the latest uh, Fedora 38. Uh, sudo su for switching to the root user, so I'm able to execute any command of the system. Uh, first command is actually to run DNF update to update the metadata of the packages. This operation might take a while, depends by the connection speed and also how updated is your system. In my case, it's only downloading the metadata of the upgrading packages and this was the first time that I start up this machine. So it's going to take longer, and uh, but we need just to wait for a sec. At the end of this process, we are going to propose some system software upgrade that we are going to skip and proceed directly to install Ansible. So let me first things check it out. What if, okay, let me deny the update of a system upgrade. I don't have time to download uh, more than 600 packages. Uh, so if I'm typing Ansible at the moment, I got a command not found and there is a suggestion to install the package ansible core that is the core version of all the ansible executable let me check it out the available version using dnf list available ansible.core at the moment it is 214.6 and for the ansible package the community that include all the collection is 7.6.0 let me verify that nothing is installed in the system using rpm-qa and searching for any Ansible occurrences. So there is nothing. Uh, if Ansible was installed, this mm, command ansible-version will produce an, amp to, an output. So let's go straight away. DNF install Ansible is going to install four packages, 50 megabytes to download and 350 uh, total is stored uh, storage space. This is very smooth process as you can see it requires only Python 3 and a couple of libraries. So I really like the stream pen, the stream it down, uh, the footprint. So um, the download speed depends again my connection speed and the performance of your machine. In my case is going to take longer after downloading the package is also verified using the GPG signature, so verify that it is genuine according to Fedora releases and install it on system. So after installing, we are ready to go for our automation journey. So basically, we are waiting till uh, the software is actually downloaded on the system and then uh, we can move forward in our journey. Just a handful of seconds and also this latest package, Ansible, that is actually the biggest one, will be available for installing. As you can see, the first library, Resolve, Lib and Jinja2 are quite a handful of kilobyte and also Ansible core is just 4 megabyte and the biggest package is actually Ansible. Let me confirm the GPG signature. This signature is used to verify that the package is genuine according to Fedora and now we are proceeding actually to install it. And uh, boom, we are completed. So Ansible now is successfully installed in our system and we can use to develop our code or anything that we want. 
we can verify using Ansible dash dash version that confirm that Ansible core 214.6 is currently installed. I also choose to install the additional collection using the Ansible packages and as you can see let's take a look on the current state of rpm-qa and this time we are going to have a true result for the Ansible and may remind you before it was empty we can get the same result using DNF list Ansible as well as DNF list Ansible core as you can see these are the latest release available at the moment for Fedora 38. Now the sky is the limit. You are able to execute any Ansible automation script in your Fedora 38. And moreover, you can maintain up to date with software just using the DNF package manager using DNF update as usual. Cool. I can't wait to see you again in our automation journey. Yay.